So, Sony has announced the long-awaited, much-anticipated PlayStation 5 Pro console. That's right, the PS5 Pro is going to be available to buy. I think pre-orders start at the end of the September. I think they're going to be shipped out in November. My question is, um, why? Why do we need a PS5 Pro? What's wrong with the PS5 as it is? I mean, full disclosure, I, I own a PS5. Do I feel like I need to go out and, and trade it in and upgrade and get a PS5 Pro? No. My PS5 has a terabyte hard drive in it. I threw a two terabyte hard drive in it uh, as an option. And it does what I need it to do. It plays NCAA Football 25. It plays Madden 25. It plays uh, the show 2024, which I play almost nothing but sports games on the console, uh, Gran Turismo. Those are the games I play on the console. I, for a long time, I've been a PC gamer. I used to play sports games on the PC, but now you can't find um, 2K sports baseball or even going back to the days of triple play baseball or MVP baseball 2005. Awesome game. If you haven't played it, check it out. Uh, Madden, when Madden was available on the PC, can't do that anymore. So on the PC, I, I play the Arkham series. I play uh, World of Warships, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Battlefield. I saved those first-person shooters for the PC because I believe they need a mouse and a keyboard. But getting back to the PS5 Pro. So it's been a couple days since the launch video has shown up on YouTube. And... Just over 2 million views, but look at the ratio. And I gotta say, 60,000 likes, 243,000 dislikes. That's a four to one ratio, likes to dislikes. I should say dislikes to likes. So what do you get for the reported price of 699, which, <laughs> Sorry, but you can build a pretty decent uh, mid-range gaming PC for around seven to eight hundred dollars, seven to eight hundred dollars. I should say, not seven to eight hundred. You, you're spending seven to eight hundred dollars on a PC. You're going to be building a beast. But for seven to eight hundred bucks, you can buy a, a pretty decent gaming PC. So what do we get? Well, in this article here from Tom's Hardware, they kind of go through the specs. Um, the Pro improves over the regular PS5 in three key areas. Upgraded GPU. PS Pro has 67% more compute units and 28% faster memory than the standard PS5 console. Well, what GPU are you using? We know it's AMD. AMD's been supplying both Sony and Microsoft uh, CPUs and GPUs for quite a while for their consoles. Um, enables up to 45% faster gameplay rendering, resulting in a much smoother play experience. Okay. Again, what GPU are you using? Uh, ray tracing. They've been... They've increased their ray tracing capabilities. Even more dynamic reflections and refractions of light. Rays can be cast to double or even triple the speed of the base PS5 console. Okay, great. Ray tracing, better. Thumbs up. Uh, PSR Pro packs AI-driven upscaling. Also known as PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Say that three times fast. Utilizes machine learning to sharpen images and increase clarity. Sony promises an extraordinary amount of detail. If, if, you're, if you're a PC gamer and builder, and you're familiar with NVIDIA and all their RTX cards from the 2000 series up to the current 4000 series, that would be like um, DLSS. That's very similar to DLSS. Um... 
The PS5 Pro is to prevent players from having to choose between a performance and a fidelity mode, which is currently common on many of the PS5 or many games on the PS5. The Pro aims to give players the best of both worlds. Great. Two terabyte hard drive. Okay, double the capacity. Unless you've already put a, another drive into your PS5 like I did. Um, they changed the, the look of the PS Pro. It's got that black stripe down the sides and the upper, the upper half. Um, no disk drive. You want a disk drive? It's going to cost you an extra 79 bucks. Oh, and if you want a stand, that's an extra 30 bucks. That's on top of the 699. So what are people saying about the PS Pro? Uh, 800 euro in the EU digital only and adds 80 euros for a drive. The vertical stand's not included. Get the F out of here, Sony. I'm not an analyst, but showing a $700 console without a new game to demonstrate how awesome it is and mostly showing PS4 ports feels like a bad start. Yeah, you would think if they were launching a console, they would also launch a game, maybe like Gran Turismo, a new version that takes advantage of the uplift that the PS5 Pro is supposed to give you over the regular PlayStation. Oh, what do you think? Comment down below. 800 euros, no stand, no disk drive. We knew this reveal could turn out bad, but holy moly, this is a gigantic letdown from Sony. What about this is with deeply engaged players in mind? Apart from, and they will be buying anything we throw out them expectation. See, Sony knows right now that there's nothing new coming from Microsoft. And if I was Nintendo right now, I'd be dropping a Switch 2 right now. I'd announce it and drop it right now. Take advantage of the negative press, the negative comments from consumers that Sony's getting right now for the Pro. Uh, this is a Pedro Pascal. <laughs> I didn't see anything in that showcase to justify it. $200 more than base PS5 for checks, notes, frame rate increase? Nah. Sony's PS5 Pro arrives November 7th, priced at $699. I'm good. I'll just keep my PS5. I'm not upgrading for $700 with no disk drive. Yeah. Um, this was a comment about the Sony stock at the announcement. PS5 Pro or Nintendo Switch for everyone in the family, including the cat. Um, yeah. Grab a Switch Lite. Sure, whatever floats your boat. Trying real hard to see the difference between the PS5 and the PS5 Pro graphics. Yeah. There's only so much the human eye can see. The PS5 Pro has lines across the middle of the console, which are a nod to the line Sony executives were doing when they priced this thing. Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, another great little uh, meme. Somebody needs to do a Scrooge McDuck beam for the PS5 Pro. Rest in peace, 599 US dollars for the PS3. We have the 699 US dollars now, thanks to the PS5 Pro. Well, speaking of pricing, um, every PlayStation, I had the PS1. Yeah, it was 299 back in 2000, uh, 1994. Gosh, wow. I did not have a PS1. 99 bucks, 2000. I did not have a PS2. 299, launched in 2000. PS2 Slim, 149. The PS3, anywhere from 499 to 599, depending on what size uh, drive you got in it. That's the OG version. I had this version here, I bought it used. Uh, 299 for the 120 gig version. Again, price vary depending on the, the, the space requirements or the hard drive size. PS3 Super Slim, 
269. PS4, 349. That's for the 500 gig model. PS4 Slim, 299 and 349. PS4 Pro, 399. PS5, 499.99. PS5 Digital, that's the one I have, 399.99. PS5 Slim, 499. Slim Digital, 449. And we have the Pro at 699. Those are the ones I'm, the, I mean, again, 700 bucks. You can build yourself a pretty decent mid-range gaming system for 700 bucks. One last thing here, folks. PlayStation 2 is the highest selling game platform of all time at 158 um, million units sold. Nearly 159 million units. Then you got the Switch, the DS, the Game Boy, the PS4 is number five at 117 million units. Play the original PlayStation, the OG at 102 and a half million units. The PS3 at 87.4. You gotta go all the way down here to 14 for the PS5. Which granted, it hasn't been out as long, but you have to question, do we really need a PS5 Pro? Well, that answer remains to be seen. Um, how well this thing's going to sell, that remains to be seen too. But if the comments on social media are any, indi any indication, it's not looking too good with the launch of the PS5. So there you have it. PS5 Pro, comment down below. What do you guys think? Love to hear what you have to say. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. That helps support the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.